Hey, good morning, everybody. I hope everyone's doing well today. Uh, no Monday motivation, but I do have a story for you. Uh, apparently, there's a town in North Carolina that is right now 45,000 people are in the dark because of a targeted attack on the power grid. Now, how do, you, how do we know that it was a targeted attack? Is because they shot up the receiver stations of the power grid. They, they literally shot up the power station and took the entire, t entire town offline. Uh, this is uh, not a first though. So back in around 2012, I may have the date wrong, there was a similar attack in California where an unknown group using scoped rifles attacked a power station and almost wound up taking Northern California and parts of the Pacific Northwest offline. It was a major, major station, not a local town station. And uh, they shot all the insulators and the uh, transfer station, I forgot what they're called, the little transfer relays, and basically knocked them all offline. And that seems like what they've just done in this town in the Carolinas. So there was a drag show going on that was being protested. So you had your pro drag queens and your anti drag queen people were all out in the street and then the lights go out and then they're all kind of standing there like, uh, okay. So, um, they wound up continuing the show. Someone brought like portable lights and you know, they continued whatever concert they were having, but, uh, the sheriff isn't sure if it's related to a pro or against drag queen show action in this town or if it was something else now keep in mind as I've mentioned before there is precedent for this kind of attack unfortunately I'm afraid the way people are now as opposed to 10 20 years ago this is just going to encourage more people who are angry at whatever they're angry at and for they're angry at the Patriot boys or whatever freaking group they're pissed at they're gonna decide oh I'm gonna shoot up the power grid and basically leave a whole community in the dark because of the 4% that are arguing about something, which is not good. So this is a great opportunity for us to look at a rather odd event that has happened before, but it's very rare. What can you learn from this? Well, if you had a jackery in the house, you have a good working fireplace, you have a little buddy heater, whatever the hell those things are called, uh, you have enough firewood, This, those kind of folks will have enough amenities to keep their houses warm until the, uh, the engineers and whoever else get this stuff fixed. So this is a good learning opportunity for all of us. So don't freak out, read about it, and then see what would you have done and how are you prepared for such an event. I'll see you later. Take care.